fucking someone else over there with a crime stat. He's red. No, it's because he fired at me. Oh. So, I'm going to talk about a backstrife interception technique I like to call the good old rope -a So if I look at my... He can fire missiles all he wants. So right now he's charging me. And he is slowly trying to close the distance. So I'm actually in a backstrife right now. And what I'm doing is as he crests close to me, now I have the velocity. I can go to my main thruster and turn around on him start working on him, right? And again, what I wanted to see is, see, like, you can see his tracers, I'm, I'm making him shoot in, like, a cone. And because he's not matching my roll, right, and he's always going to be kind of playing catch-up, right? Now, obviously there's some positional desync, but look at my shields, like, I, I have basically no damage. I've been hit once out of that entire burst, and now I can just cross over the PU wrecking ball. <laughs> PU wrecking ball, indeed. Right, so now again, right, we're at the apex of that turn and we come around, we're leveled out. And again, we're back into the cone as we slowly work towards him here. Right, we can add a little bit of kind of wobble, not wobble, but a little bit of kind of, kind of a sway, right? As we kind of keep walking our way in towards the target. Looks like my two size 3 guns have stopped recharging. The servers are no. silly. Again, keep walking towards him. A little bit of down strafe, up strafe. There we go. Cross across his fire here. So this is where we're actually at the most dangerous because we could potentially get hit here. So we're actually going to flip the side and keep walking through the cone. So eventually, pop goes the weasel. Yeah, the other guy's tailing me. I got Zeth Jack here, Nomad. So again, same thing, right? Like, there's like a cone, imaginary cone. Just blew right past me, but got another guy here, an Avenger Titan. Again, like same fast thing, right? Bobby. So if we imagine a cone, we're walking down this cone, right? And as we, this guy's probably gonna blow past us because his speed's really up, right? So we got a little bit of acceleration here. Now we've got the bottom of the turn, bottom thruster orientation. Start walking around him. Lower our speed. It looks like he wants to run away, so I'm actually going to increase my volume to get that guy down. And then again, right? Into the corkscrew. So he's going to go past us, so we're going to pre-nose and boost through. See how much distance he's got on us. He was coming at a pretty fast clip. And again, right? Walking into the oh, desync there, in, into the box. This is just going to be an easy kill. Poor guy doesn't know what's going to hit him here. So slowly working, getting position. This is where he tries to run away. We've got our bottom thruster set. Okay. Target destroyed. There's three kills in a row. Enjoy our dogfight here, Mr. Hole in the Head. First turn, second turn, he's got a lot of energy in that turn, again, rolling up to the vector. Actually did quite a bit of damage there, careful here. I have to get out of that spot because I was getting too many hits on me. There we go, accelerate up. to go. First turn. There we go. Nice track. Flip the circle. Get my shields charged up right now. I gotta keep the pressure. Down strafe, extend the circle, up strafe hard, close the distance. I'm gonna roll into my shots. Down strafe there. I took a lot of hits on that pass, so it's not looking good for me. 
I might get him on this extension. Uh, I think I got him here. Got my guns back. Got a really nice run. Target destroyed. There it is. Oh, damn it. Back into the first merge. Shields. To the first turn. Acceleration. Watch the guns recharging. Again, right? Looking at, like, if I'm walking around him like it's a cone. And I'm looking at the direction that he's moving in. Now, he's got some decent DPS coming in on me now, so I want to shake that up as best I can. I want to close the distance and buy myself some time. And as his nose gets back on me, I want to S-turn and flip the direction of the fight as I slowly try to kind of work around him here. So those are good hits on his part. Target destroyed. Whew. Not bad. All right, guys. Today, we're talking about fighting inside the cone. Now, this is a term that I use a lot during the stream and I've used it a lot during some of my videos, but I just wanted to use today's video to really explain the terminology behind it, what I actually mean when I say fighting inside the cone, and give you some visual representation as to how I conceptualize fighting inside the cone. So what I want you to do right now is as this dogfight happens, I want you to watch and I want you to imagine that there is an invisible cone stuck on the end of the enemy gladius that is following the direction and position of the enemy nose, right? So as, like I said, like as you took a cone and just stuck it on the end of a gladius, right? And this represents uh, the cone that you want to fight inside, right? Now, once we get below a certain, like right here, you'll see I get close enough where it starts to turn into a raid fight right here. So right now we're in a raid fight, which is uh, uh, I need to get my nose on him as quick as possible. But as we extend out, like we did just there, now I'm once again inside his cone, right? So now he's looking to take a shot on me. I'm taking shots on him. Now it's an aim duel. But what I want to do is I want to ride the outside edge of his cone as I move my way slowly into position and into his, I guess you could say, engagement bubble. So as I move my way in, I'm riding the edge of that cone in a clockwise positional manner. And I'm slowly making small movements. Kind of, You can see I'm kind of wave pattern setting. I made a video on YouTube called Wave Pattern. You might want to take a look at that. But I'm just kind of wave pattern setting as I move in. But I'm always riding the edge of that cone. Now, once we're close enough now, it's a rate fight again. Right? Now it's a rate fight. Again, we're not rushing anything. We're just slowly pushing towards the enemy. Slowly pushing towards them. Not overextending using fine controlled movements on our thrusters to kind of get ourselves in position. And again, now we're corkscrewing the other direction inside his cone, but we're counterclockwise moving against him in his cone. And then once I go across his nose, which I just did there, now we cancel that movement and we turn the fight clockwise again. So we've got him to bait on following us in the other direction. Now we're slowly gonna go closer and closer back into a rate fight again. We're always rolling because we don't want to, because right now we're tracking in yaw, but we're slowly rolling, you see, until eventually we're back in pitch, right? You know, um, you know, which gives you those wins. Um, so I'm gonna show a little picture here to kind of help you understand how I visualize the, um, the cone, right? And what you want to do is you always want to be moving around the edge of the cone. And the cone's not super large. I mean, the cone's only about, I don't know, 10 degrees from, from the direction of his nose, you know, so it's not too crazy. And it's not like it's a, a triangular cone. It's a cylindrical cone. It doesn't get smaller as you get closer or larger when you get far away. It's just this cone-shaped pattern. And... If you visualize this and understand that, okay, if I am in the enemy's cone, then he is also in my cone. However, I want to make it as difficult as I possibly can for him to hit me. And the way to do that is not by making giant sweeping, you know, decoupled type movements. Because once I realize that, oh, he's moving in that direction, I can cancel, 
and take the kill. Now right here you can see there's a lot of energy built up in that turn from Dimmy and as soon as I adjust for that movement I've got him. All these shots I'm hitting on him right now are hitting and I'm still moving inside the cone against him. Right? So I'm still continuing my motion and making it difficult for, for him to hit me but for him he's trying to arrest all this extra energy that he built up in that turn and it's quite simply very easy to predict and 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 move your guns into a solution that's going to get you hits right now again we're moving inside the cone here now we go across his nose and turn it back into a rate fight which is you know we're we're sub 150 meters there we're slowly getting our our, our guns on target we're not really applying any strafe because we want to keep it as difficult as we can um for him to get on right and the best way to do that is just by kind of holding an angle which is another youtube video i made uh, a couple weeks ago you might want to take a look at that video called holding angles so here we go back in back into the rate fight nice and slow methodical right it doesn't need to be rushed you don't need to rush the shots like be methodical be precise be skilled with your with your movement right so now he's moving on our screen down into the left so we're actually going to cancel this and roll the opposite direction because it actually takes less distance for us to roll to the left there than it would be to kind of re keep tracking on the right side there all right guys i know it's difficult the cone is something that is still something that i'm trying to work on in terms of explain how I visualize it, but it's a very, very, very important way to visualize, I think, uh, your position relative to your enemy. And if you don't understand it on this first take, watch it again, watch it again, watch it again until it sinks in. But it all works together. Cone, rate fight, roll aim, like all these fundamentals all come together to give you a well-rounded, skilled, professional dogfighter. And that's what I want all you viewers to do and to be is skilled at your profession. Whether you are a minor and you just want to understand the basics or you're uh, a budding pirate or, or security personnel that needs to you know learn this stuff because that's your profession, understand the fundamentals of combat will put you ahead of the majority of the Star Citizen player base. That is for sure. Right. All right, guys. I was Avenger One. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope to see you guys out next time. Leave a like if you liked this content and you want to see more of it. I mean, let's be honest, guys. You hear it from a million YouTubers out there. Like and subscribe and do all that stuff. But I mean, it helps. You know, if you want to see more of this shit and you want to see, you want to get better, then pass this stuff along, man, because it'll help. Right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you in the next video. I was Avenger One, and I'll see you next time.